One of Canada's biggest energy companies has ended months of speculation and is forging ahead with plans to build a cross-Canada pipeline. TransCanada wants to ship Alberta oil to eastern markets. There are still many regulatory hoops to jump through, but the provinces and Ottawa are already pledging support. Environmentalists say not so fast. Francis Silvaggio has the story. Um, this is a historic day for, for TransCanada um, and a historic day for, for our, our country. It's the Made in Canada solution industry and political leaders have been lobbying for, a cross-Canada pipeline that will move 1.1 million barrels of oil every day from the west to eastern Canadian refineries currently dependent on foreign oil. This project has the potential to replace all of the oil Canadian refineries currently have to import from overseas to make gasoline, diesel and other fuels that are vital to the lives of, of Canadians. Refineries in Quebec and New Brunswick currently import nearly 700,000 barrels of foreign oil every day. At prices almost 40 bucks more a barrel than Canadian crude. We will extract the resource, we will refine it, and it will be consumed in Canada, which provides billions of dollars in government revenue and literally tens of thousands of jobs. Access to eastern ports will also open up new export markets that could increase the value of Canadian oil. But social and environmental advocacy groups remain cynical, remain concerned. We feel like this pipeline that's going and crossing communities across the country and many lakes and rivers, it's really all risk and little benefit for the communities that are going to be shouldering these burdens. TransCanada, though, says out of the 4,400 kilometers of pipe, only 1,400 is new construction. The rest will be converted from an existing natural gas line without even breaking ground. The vast majority of that distance, we don't have to dig up the pipe. We just have to change the motive force uh, to move the product through the pipe. The company says the 50-year-old existing pipe is completely safe and hopes to have the application approved in time to start moving oil by 2017. It is in the interest of all Canadians and uh, in the interest of all the provinces and that we need to work with all of those parties to ensure that we satisfy their concerns and, and, and we're committed to doing that. Now, TransCanada says this project by no means replaces the Keystone application currently in the hands of the U.S. President. In fact, the company says given the expected growth in Canadian oil production, both of these pipelines will be required and likely several more. Donna? All right, still waiting for word on Keystone. Francis Silvaggio, thanks.